Hello everyone, my name is Tom or Alright Straight, and in today's video I'm going to be talking about lemon myrtle. Okay, so lemon myrtle is a plant. It has many wonderful benefits, such as it is antibacterial, antimicrobial, antioxidant, antibiotic, and antiviral. It's very beneficial to use if you're wanting those features. However, we're not going to be discussing about that. We're going to be discussing about sarcopenia and the benefits of using it for, let's say, a bodybuilder. Okay, so sarcopenia, we're going to be discussing about um, elderly people, we're going to be discussing about the studies that they've shown, and so forth, right? So, this year, 2022, was a breakthrough for women myrtle because scientists are trying to find a way to improve upon sarcopenia. Sarcopenia is a, a condition where your skeletal mass and your durability and your strength has declined severely to the point where it's risky for a individual to live because when you lose your skeletal mass you're losing your durability and your strength overall and you are prone to fractures well vulnerable to anything to be honest right and you see in the elderly people the study was done on elderly people and I'll be discussing why it's beneficial for bodybuilders. However, it was done on elderly people because elderly people have sarcopenia, depending on their lifestyle, right? But majority of the people that are old have sarcopenia because as we age, you know, this is just life. It's a life cycle, you know. We begin to deteriorate over time and, you know, we end up losing our strength our muscles, our durability, our mass, and so forth, you know, and we, we become weak and fragile, you know, that's, that's, that's the life, that's the life circle. However, as a consequence of, you know, not exercising or taking care of your body and developing sarcopenia, people are, end up with fractures and stuff like that, and we don't want that, we don't want people to get hurt, and we're trying to find a way. And scientists are trying to find a way to improve upon that. Now, there are steroids and things to that nature to strengthen someone and to get their bone mass back to normal, but that comes with side effects, you know. The scientists are trying to find a more of a uh, uh, safer way to go about this, you know, more of a supplementation rather than um, enhancing the body, per se. You know what I'm saying? So, Lemon Myrtle has shown to promote or activate muscle satellite cells okay so as we age uh, we begin to lose our cells our brain cells our muscle cells our bone cells and so forth right and our muscle satellite cells are very important because that signals other satellite cells to help essentially to repair and to build you know what i'm saying you know when we exercise we damage the muscles and the recovery and then it builds on new tissue okay as we get older we begin to lose that process that um, efficiency so lemon myrtle actually helps stimulate the process of mus muscle satellite cells therefore when it comes to recovery and promoting muscle muscle essentially you will get stronger and much more durable and this is why lemon myrtle is a breakthrough because it is helping people who have sarcopenia, people who have weak, uh, who has a weak body essentially, that are prone to fractures. So this will help develop more muscle. Not very, you know, like, like steroids, it's not like that. But it will help stimulate that process. So along with rehab and exercise and being active, you will definitely become uh, stronger and healthier and just better overall at the end of the day when you are supplementing with this. Along with that, there's another beneficial thing, and that is that it stimulates the muscle protein synthesis, which is very um, crucial when it comes to recovery and building muscle and so forth, right? Protein synthesis is important after a workout and during the day to stay anabolic, and no one wants to become catabolic. Basically, sarcopenia is like catabolic catabolic state is a catabolic state you are weak you're losing muscle and you're not gaining muscle you're just deteriorating over time so when you promote 
mu muscle protein synthesis along with muscle satellite cells, that is a good um, way to get the body going again because that is what promotes the muscle building and the muscle recovery and also helps with the bones and tissues and so forth. So if you could stimulate those process along with pro proper nutrition and exercise and being active, you could definitely promote the body in a better way, right? And this is efficient. I'm going to be talking about the bodybuilding aspect now. This is efficient to use or um, ideal to use because everything will be better in the bodybuilding aspect when it comes to recovery, repairing, building nutrition, and so forth. Because as bodybuilders, we break down our muscles, right? And the whole goal is to build new muscles to get bigger. So if you could um, stimulate the muscle satellite cells along with the protein synthesis, that's a good combination for growth and, well, recovery and growth. So, I mean, that's what we're all looking for as bodybuilders. We're looking for a shortcut, essentially, in order to enhance the process of bodybuilding, like building muscle faster, losing fat faster. I'm not saying this will uh, like promote fat loss, but it will help with the recovery process and, um, and basically your recovery process and building muscle, you know, it'll be more efficient because a lot of people may lack other aspects in the, in the recovery aspect. You know what I'm saying? Like such as nutrition or sleep or whatever the case might be. So if you get added another way to increase your, your yielding potential, um, that'll be better off for anyone because you'll get more gains at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? So this is very beneficial for elderly people who have sarcopenia and that is going down that route. You know, you, you see people, you could just see near their body and you could just see in their physique. They're not looking healthy. So by supplementing with this, along with what I said, proper nutrition and exercise, definitely, that would definitely help with your, um, your, you're going to decrease the chances of getting injured and you're going to promote a stronger and much more durable body. And this is beneficial for bodybuilders, like I said, because in the recovery aspect and building muscle aspect, it's more efficient. It's not like a whole lot of a, of a, like a, of a change when you're supplementing with this or of a drastic improvement, I should say. However, it's a way to increase the, the yielding potential and everyone will like that potential effect, right? Just like tocasterone, a lot of people think tocasterone is like a wonder herb that it, that will promote like four pounds of muscle gain within a month, which is not the case, right? So, um, the Lemon Myrtle has probably more uh, positive outcomes than tocasterone, to be honest. I don't like tocasterone, but anyhow, Lemon Myrtle. I have, I'm going to link the, the research papers down in the, the, the description along with the supplementation um, links if you guys want to purchase the uh, lemon myrtle products because, well, I'm going to do my research and find a genuine source that sells a high quality lemon myrtle, organic lemon myrtle, and I'm going to link it down below. So if you guys are interested in the research papers and the supplementation products, go look in the description and thanks for watching.